Hello and welcome to Berlin. I'm Max Nomad. I'm Karen. And today we'll go on an epic Berlin street food tour. We will show you all the best street food spots in Berlin so you can avoid the tourist traps and have real, authentic, delicious Berlin style street food. It's gonna be a full day of eating. We'll start with breakfast and we'll go all the way until dinner. So, let's go! We started our food tour off here at the Bäckerei, the bakery, and this one here is called Zeit für Brot. It's extremely famous for its cinnamon rolls. I got the classic one right here, the one with chocolate, and then Karen also has got some more inventive flavors. I got the white chocolate and raspberry, and this one is apple and almond. Oh, wow. And with Mmm, wow. It's delicious. It's very, very sweet and soft with the cream. I think this one is my favorite so far. After a short e-scooter ride, we arrived at our second breakfast spot for the day. Now we're at Bramibald's Donuts. Bramibald's was Europe's first vegan donut shop. It offers 15 different varieties of donuts daily with inventive flavors that change every month. I will try this one here, which kind of looks like it is straight out of The Simpsons. <laughs> this is amazing. It's really fresh and tasty icing. Then the peanut butter and jelly donut right here. Those were the first two stops of our food tour. How full do you feel? Oh, like 70%. <laughs> <laughs> okay, there's a lot more stops to come. We took the metro at Alexanderplatz and after a short ride and a bit of a walk, we arrived at the next stop of our street food tour. And it's time for the number one street food in Berlin, and that's of course the currywurst, the curry sausage, and we're in one of the very best places to get it in the entire city. This is Curry 36. Currywurst traditionally consists of steamed fried pork sausage that is cut into bite-sized chunks and seasoned with a sauce based on spiced ketchup topped with curry powder. A whopping 800 million currywürste are eaten in Germany every year. Mm. Wow. So it has like a really rich tomato based sauce and curry powder on top. And it's just like a quite unique combination of flavors. I really, really like this one. Definitely one of my all time favorite snacks here in Berlin. All right, that was a nice classic snack from Berlin and we'll continue on to the other iconic dish from Berlin and that's of course the Döner Kebab. It's just down the street from here. Döner Kebab is a dish of Turkish origin usually made from veal or chicken cooked on a vertical rotisserie. The modern sandwich style Döner Kebab was popularized in the 1970s in West Berlin by Turkish immigrants. It is usually served with salad of vegetables and various types of sauces. Oh my goodness. We walked a few meters and arrived at the most popular Döner Kebab shop in all of Berlin. There is a huge line here at Mustafa's Gemüse Kebab. We'll see if the wait is worth it. The owner of Mustafa's Gemüse Kebab, Tarik Kara, created an innovative version of the kebab using homemade sauces, sheep cheese, lemon juice and fried vegetables. Tarik's shop gained international fame due to the outstanding flavor of each Döner and clever, ironic marketing. The kebab is right there at the end of this giant line. Let's see how long it takes. I got them! So we stopped the time it took us to get to the front of the line. It was about 45 minutes. So let's try it. Looks like The flavor is really unique. There's lots of different herbs there. You can tell that the vegetables are extremely fresh. It's amazing. We took the metro again to get to one of Berlin's main street food hubs. And we made it to the Markthalle 9, which is a big market hall here 
in Berlin, which has lots of street food stands and also lots of regular market stands where you can get fruit, cheese, vegetables and so on. If you're in Berlin on a Thursday, this place is particularly good because it puts on a big street food event. It's called Street Food Thursday and then you can really try street food from all around the world. You can find more information about the Markt Halle 9 and all the other things that I mentioned in this video in my free Berlin travel cheat sheet on maxnomad.io slash Berlin. We got this platter which has different kind of cold cuts and different cheeses and they look really, really good. So there's a camembert, which is this one right here. I'm gonna start with that one. Really nice, really good camembert cheese. And you got the, the mandan cheese. And then there's some smoked ham here. Really a lot of flavor, kind of smoky. Really, really good. We also got some wine from Germany. We got a Riesling and a Grüner Veltliner. So, Prost! <laughs> we left the Markthalle 9 and after a short walk, we arrived at one of Berlin's most unusual street food spots. Now we're at probably the most famous burger joint in all of Berlin. This is the Burgermeister. See, it's in a pretty unique location. There's traffic going all around us. We are under the train track of the Berlin Metro. And also the burgers are served out of a Roma public toilet. This is why this is this little green house here. And I got the chili cheeseburger and it looks so delicious. I really thought I wasn't hungry anymore. But when I saw this, I, um, I think I can eat some more. So let's try it. Wow, this is really nice, really spicy. You can see it has jalapenos on the inside, the cheese, and of course the burger patty, just grilled to perfection. I got the classic hamburger. Look at this. Let's try it. So good, very nice. We hopped on the metro to get to one of the most famous areas of Berlin. We are now at the Cottbusser Tor, which is a famous nightlife hotspot here in Berlin. It's really good for going out. And we are going to get something to eat now. We are now at the Wonder Waffle, which is a chain of very famous waffle restaurants in Germany. And I got the hazelnut special that has different kinds of Kinder chocolate products on the inside. And as you can see, they even write your name. Oh wow. I always love the Kinder chocolate. It's like a super popular chocolate for children here in Germany. This brings back some childhood memories. It's really, really delicious. And I'm gonna try my berry drink here. But what's really special is you can have your own combinations. You can choose your own ingredients. Mm. Yeah, you can taste the berries. I think there's a little bit of ginger in there as well. And there's also banana in there. So you get all these different fruits together. It's really nice. I got the waffle with the exotic fruits. It has blackberry, kiwi, pineapple, and Raffaello sweet. It's very, very big. Oh, wow. <laughs> Delicious. I'm very fresh with the fruits. This drink is a spinach with pineapple. Mm, so, so. <laughs> <laughs> what does it taste like? This is strange because I feel the vegetable. Mm. Can I try it? Yeah, weird. <laughs> kind of a bit like drinking vegetable soup. <laughs> After a short Uber ride, we arrived at one of Berlin's best international street food places. We made it to the Tortilleria Mexa, which is our last stop for the day. And this place here has delicious, authentic Mexican food. We got a variety of tacos with pork, with chicken and even with some cactus here, which is gonna be very interesting, I think. I want with chicken, this one. Oh, very nice. Yeah. And I think I'm gonna go for the cactus one. Look interesting. 
Tortilleria Mexa prepares the dough for their tortillas fresh every day from imported Mexican corn and uses only the best hand-picked ingredients like cilantro, tomatoes, chili peppers and lime to create an authentic Mexican taste experience. Mm. <laughs> really good. <Yeah. laughs> Wow. This is really the real deal. Yeah. Must taste just like Mexico when it was there last That's year. <laughs> mm. So good. Wow. I love the flavor. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, we also got a traditional Mexican spirit called mezcal. Let's see how you like it. I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Oh, I like it. It's really oh. strong. <laughs> Kind of smoky. Yeah. I think it's very strong. <laughs> yeah, that's for sure. <laughs> but I like it. If you drink enough of it, you will start to like it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this epic street food tour of Berlin. If you're also interested in the best things to do in the city, then please check out my top things to do in Berlin video right here. If you have any other recommendations for great street food places, please make sure to leave them in the comments below. I'm Max Nomad. I'm Karen. And we will talk to you again soon.